Jan, not a word to Alex. Whatever's going on, I don't want to see her upset. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Champagne's on us. What's that in need of? Adam's done the most outrageous thing. What? Well, let's just call it a long-term cure for frostbite. We'll never be cold again. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? He's asked me to marry him. She said yes. <laughs> well, that's fantastic. Congratulations. Thank you. <sighs> that's wonderful. Well done. Here, shake hands. Shall I open that? So come on in. Where's the honeymoon? It's a secret. You mean you're not telling us so we can't arrange some practical joke to meet you at the hotel? Come on. <laughs> no. So Alex won't know where they're going till they get to the airport. I think it's lovely. Oh, <laughs> give me a hint. No, I want it to be a wonderful surprise. You haven't spent too much on it, I hope. Don't worry, I want you to have the very best. You know what, I'll get that on tape, Alex, for use at a later date or in court, you know. <laughs> Beck it, honestly. Well, it was good of Jan to organise this. Yeah, it seems she's been on that management assessment course. I think she got out the brochures, you know, how to get the best out of your staff. <laughs> I must check up on Adam's bank statement, find out what those large payments are all about. I've made some inquiries. I promise you, Ed, he's squeaky clean. You spoke to the Hive? To Dent himself. He has complete confidence in Adam. Well, I'm sure he does, but do we have confidence in Dent? Oh, come on, Ed. You're letting your jealousy make you paranoid. Now get onto the computer, people, will you? I'm sick and tired of getting all this unsolicited email. It's bad enough having the stuff drop on the doormat at home without getting junk mail on the office computer. I'll talk to our technical people. Now what? Michelson. Who are you? How are you doing this? All that matters is I know who you are, and I know what you've been doing. Leslie, get our head of security up here, will you? Don't call for help. Don't involve anyone else, or it will be worse for you. Uh, Leslie, it's all right. Uh, don't trouble him. I'll, I'll sort it myself. Very sensible. You're threatening me. That's right. Unless you do as I want, I'll tell the world all about your sideline in unsecured loans. How do you know? I know everything. I can explain. There were reasons. Oh, I understand. But do you think your chairman will when I send him the incriminating documents? Do you think your delightful wife will understand when you get sacked? What do you want from me? The centralized account transfer system. What about it? I want the disk with all the access codes. Don't be ridiculous. I'm completely serious. When I next contact you, be ready to give me what I want, or else I'll destroy you.
too much lace. Okay, Ed, what about this one? No. It's too plain. No. no. <laughs> Come on, guys, you're supposed to be helping. Alex has to make a decision on this. Maybe you need it in 3D. How about this one? <sighs> yeah, it's certainly different. Yeah, but it's nice, different. It's really nice. Yeah. You're safe here, Daniel. Well, these days, everyone seems to be using surveillance devices. I had agents do a sweep of the area an hour ago. Ah, here's Jan. Dent? DOIC, this is Daniel Michelson of Western Credit Bank. How do you do? How do you do? Daniel's been very helpful to the Hive recently. Thank you for meeting me at such short notice. Daniel's being threatened, which puts the entire world banking system at risk. Yes. You've heard of the new centralised account transfer system? CATS. It's the way clearing banks transfer money electronically. Yes. They want me to hand over the master disk containing all the codes used in CATS. 300 billion a day passes through the system. Anyone who got hold of the codes could help themselves. You seem to know an awful lot about this, Dent. Daniel's been working with us on a programme that gives the Hive covert access to CATS. Cat Lab, they call it. It's a decryption program for the system. So the Hive can intercept any bank transfer anywhere? In theory. But Cat Lab was designed to combat money laundering. We use it to trace money transfers by crime syndicates. So, what's this extortionist have on you? Well, I authorised unsecured loans to my brother's company to help him out of trouble. It wasn't strictly according to the rules. Do you know who it is making the demands? He communicates via computer. He sends some stupid cartoon to negotiate. Obviously, do I see if the CAT system is compromised, it would affect finance throughout the world. Yes, once people lose confidence in banks, you're back to a barter economy. It's like swapping chickens in the marketplace. I'll get my team onto it right away. <laughs> oh, no. Please, spare me. It's a wedding. You have to wear a silly hat. <laughs> yeah, but that one's not silly. It's certifiably barking mad. Yeah, but are you going to get a dress to go with that one? Oh, good point. Yeah, let's see. Oh, what's Roz wearing? I don't know. We don't really discuss clothes. Didn't you ever used to go shopping with her? No, never. That's a shame. I think shopping together's fun. You know... <sighs> So do I. What is it? Are we under surveillance? No. Look. It's the happy couple. Oh. A high-tech wedding list. I love it. We just scan barcodes from whatever we choose into here, and the uh, shop does the rest. Oh, Adam, this is beautiful. Oh, well, let's get it. This is one of your jokes. No. Do you think it's great? This is what I like. <sighs> My grandparents said that. Exactly. It's a classic. Never dates. There's hardly a good reason to buy it. All right. Let's leave the china for the moment. What about the cutlery? Is this what you like? Yes, exactly. Give me the barcode reader. It's horrible. This is what cutlery should look like. Really? Yes. OK. Uh, well, let's go and look at some kitchenware. Surely we can't argue about saucepans. Been promoted back to bureau chief again, have we? Beckett! No, it's... I needed your system. You have access to things we mere mortals don't. I'm still trying to dig some dirt on Adam, I see. I'm following up this bank statement of his. Those regular large payments. So you're trying to get inside his bank's computers, trace the payments back to their origin, yeah? Alex has asked me round to dinner. I didn't want to spend the evening with her until I knew for sure about Adam. Well, you're not going to tell her about this. I don't know, mate. Well, I can't get in anyway. Cats won't let you. 
They upgraded the electronic money transfer system. All the banks adopted it last year. Great. Good luck. Jan, I think I've worked out how they got into the system. Yes, here we go. Now, these are the virtual memory processes active in the data stream. Now, you see this segment here? That is dead memory, sort of an empty husk. Mr. Michelson, you have had spiders crawling around your system. Spiders? Someone sent a software agent into your computer network whose job was to move around the memory and search for interesting data. It looks for the juicy bits, like a highly encrypted file. They're programmed to hunt for key words like secret or confidential. And this is all done automatically? Yes, the operator won't even be aware of it. The spiders can even work when the system's shut down. So where are these spiders now? Unfortunately, back where they came from. Along with a copy of your special loans and anything else of interest in your secure files. Well, can't you follow them back down the wires? No. At least not until they contact you again. So, we just wait. That's right. But, of course, next time they call, we'll be ready for them. You have new mail waiting. Adam, the limit's 50, so six have got to go. Why don't you leave out your cousins from Canada? No, we have to include them. They invited me to their wedding. But I'm sure they won't come. They might. I know they won't. You can't guarantee that. Your great aunt Marilyn won't come, surely. She will. She's healthier than she looks. Anyway, it's unfair. There's 32 of your guests and only 24 of mine. I've got a bigger family. Adam. What is this thing? It's an EMP generator for swipe card readers. Don't change the subject. Well, you've been fiddling with the computer. I've just been checking the mail. No messages of congratulations. It's all junk. Free offers and stuff. Why are you inviting Jan? She's my boss. I'm not inviting Dent. Both bosses are neither. <laughs> this is ridiculous. We spent all morning arguing about presents, and now we can't even agree on who to invite. We're all set for when they contact you again. If anything comes in on any line, we'll be able to track it. Great. I'll be here if you need me. Ed seems to be getting very friendly with Michelson's PA. On the rebound from Alex? Quite the opposite, I think. It's Adam Mosby. He's involved in the case you're working on for Mr. Michelson. Not exactly, no. Well, Mr. Michelson told me to offer every corporation. Great. It's these regular large payments I'm interested in. Could you tell me who put them into his account? Yeah, I should think so. So you can get into the CAT system from this computer? Oh, no, it's far too secure. But I could talk with somebody I know at his bank. Give me a number where I can contact you. Sure. Junk email. It's a Trojan horse of the 21st century. I wish I could see Microson's face. Any time about now. Get moving. I'll feed you the location as soon as I've got it. Ed? You've got people watching and listening, haven't you? I, I thought, thought we were going to keep this between ourselves. Who are you? How did you get into my computer? Have you got anything yet, Ros? I don't know. There doesn't seem to be a signal to trace. Well, that's not possible unless... The signal was coming from somewhere inside the building. Follow these instructions to the letter. OK, Becky, I'm reconfiguring the software to scan the internal messaging system. I can't be right. I want the master disk of the codes for the centralized account transfer system, or the full details of your illegal loans will be made public tomorrow. I've got a bad feeling about this. Come to the meeting point alone, or the deal is off. You're not online. Your modem's off. And you're not networking. 
wasn't a real-time transmission. No, it was a pre-recorded image, which means they must have left it on Michelson's system when they got in before. Jan, whoever did this is extremely skillful. Will they be taken in by this? Hopefully. I mean, they won't know it's a fake till they try to use it. That fits into this housing, which is fitted with a delayed action tracker. Delayed action? Why? So it won't show up when they scan it, which they're bound to do. I would. No, I think our only problem at the moment is Mr. Michelson himself. I want to do it, please. Mr. Michelson, I don't think that's a good idea. But it would bring them out into the open, give you a chance to catch them. Mr. Michelson, one of us should meet them, not you. I can't let anyone outside the Bureau take the risk. But you could stage manage the whole thing, Jan. Wire me up, follow my every move. We can do all those things. But you still haven't got the training. I can take care of myself. I uh, was in the university boxing team. <laughs> Somehow I don't think these people play by the Queensbury rules. But they will be expecting me. We don't even have any evidence. They know what you look like. But if they do, and they see someone else, they'll run. Well, you can't afford to take that risk. So, you let me do it? OK. But under the following conditions, we'll be in constant communication throughout, and you'll respond immediately to any instructions. Understood? I await your orders. Yeah, thanks, Leslie. I really appreciate your help. Who's that, your friend at the bank? Apparently, they're payments into Adam's account from a trust fund in the name of James Lawrence Mosby, deceased. Must be a relation, some kind of inheritance. Well, there you go, then. A completely innocent explanation. Does that put your mind at rest? Yeah. I suppose so. Mr. Michelson, can you hear me? Loud and clear. OK. Stand by for further instructions. Guys, do you think they'll come? Give them time. Heads up. They're here. In position. Ready. All set. There's no way I can get an ID from that. Put it down. You don't really believe you can get away with this, do you? Back away. Don't interfere, Michelson. Now. Just do as he says. Say when, Beckett. Let him take the bait first. See, I said they'd scan it. That tracker won't give off anything for several hours. Let him go, Michelson. OK, Ed, Rod, get those exits covered. That van's going nowhere. Stand by. Go!
he's dead! It wasn't your fault, Jan. We all tried to argue him out of it. It was Michelson's own decision to put himself in the firing line. It was my responsibility. I should never have let him do it. If he had followed our instructions, he'd have been perfectly safe. You can't blame yourself. Who else can I blame? I authorised the operation. That makes me responsible. Janet. The tracker in the disk box, it's been activated. We've got a positive reading. Jan. Jan! What? The tracker. It's been activated. What location? On the edge of town. Show me exactly. It's this building here. OK. Who are the tenants and what do they do? Well, haven't you run checks on them? Jan, it's just coming through. Well, come on, quickly! Head office of Weimark International. That's him. It's Gordon Weimark. Ah, the man who brings you internet access for free. I don't understand. He runs an internet service and doesn't charge. How does he make a living out of that? Well, the internet access gets him into people's offices. It's the online advertising and junk email that makes him the money. Junk email? Yeah. Companies hire him to get their message across to the customers. Why not just target them through email rather than the postal service? I suppose junk email would be the easiest way to get the spiders in. Of course. Once the junk mail's downloaded, the software agent's already inside the computer. And then you just sit back and wait for the spiders to harvest. Yeah. Who's the girl? Ah, now that is Zephyr McBain. They've been partners since college. According to most, she's the guru behind the whole company. Let's take a closer look, eh? Right. You be the bureaucrat, I'll be the courier. The internet users cancel. We weren't expecting you. That's the whole point of a snap inspection. You know how keen the government is to establish standards of excellence in the sector. Isn't the beauty of the internet the fact that it's unregulated? Mr. Weimark. Our concern is to make sure customers get a good level of service from their providers. Very well. If you want a quick tour, let's go. I'll just get my case. Over to you, Ross. It's all yours. Hi, I need to deliver this either to Mr. Weimark or Miss McBain in person. If neither is available, I must take it directly to their office. Please sign here. You seem to have a very small telephone helpline staff. More and more customers prefer the online help systems. Yes, but that's not so good if the system fails. The Internet Users Council is particularly hot with systems right now. Beckett, I need to find out where they're sending the junk mail from. You'd be surprised how many people are misusing their Internet access. If it's to survive as a people's service, it mustn't be abused. Beckett, I'm in Weimark's office. I found a box Michelson had. Now all I have to do is find the spiders. Keep them occupied as long as you can. Can I see in here? What's to see in the server room? It's just rows of computer banks. Indulge me. Ah, yes, I see. Rows of computer banks. Back at the spiders are here, all right. I just need a few minutes to deal with them. I'm afraid that's off limits. That's the memory core. Memory core? Heart of our operation. You must understand how sensitive the material in there is to our commercial existence. Personal secrets of all your clients. Surely I I'm am. afraid not. Well, uh, that's just about it for the tour, Mr. Beckett. We must be getting back to the office. Apparently a courier has something very urgent for us. Beckett, I need just a bit longer. What's in here? It's a store. Well, I'm sure it's nothing important, but uh, well, I'd like to be as thorough as possible. We'll come back to our office and I'll give you a set of company literature. Beckett, you're supposed to be keeping them away from me. Beckett, 
it, not yet. I'm still in here. Oh. Very nice. It's fancy. Very, um... If you're ready, Mr. Beckett. Oh, we're at your office already. Oh. Thank you for the talk. Most informative. Did you get the time you needed? Yep. Well, I'm on spiders and no longer invisible. I infected them with a harmless virus. So next time he sends them out, they'll be spotted. My guard dog antivirus will pick them up and bark. Sure, you wouldn't prefer to talk somewhere more private? No. No, this is fine. Feels less like a proper consultation. I've never seen you like this before. No. Is all this because of Daniel Michelson? I was responsible. He died because of me. I'm sure it isn't the first time someone's died in a bureau operation. Oh, no, no. I send people to their deaths on a daily basis. Do you think I run some sort of suicide squad? Of course not. I'm sorry, Simon, I'm sorry. Barbara, what is all this? I don't like myself anymore. All these years I've been in this job, I've become hard, and I haven't even noticed it. When Roz disappeared... Roz, one of my own. When she went missing and we thought she was dead, Beckett resigned because he wanted to go and look for her. And I resented that. I was angry because he put his feelings before the running of the Bureau. Can you believe that? Yes, because it was your duty to think that way. Duty? Simon, I don't feel anything. You feel you need more contact with other people? I don't know. All I know is I have to do something. He was a very brave and determined man, Mrs. Michelson. Is that supposed to make me feel better? No, I just wanted you to know the exact circumstances. I felt I owed it to you. All you owe me is a husband. The way I see it, you didn't do your job properly. That's not quite fair. Fair? Daniel was a banker. You had him out there playing secret service agents. Now he's dead. I'm sorry, but he knew what was at stake. Don't try to pretend it was his fault. I'm not. I'm just trying to help. You're not here to help me. You want me to help you. You're looking for forgiveness. No. I don't care about you and your work, your great work in the national interest. It doesn't matter to me what you say or do, because it won't bring Daniel back. I know. It's a fake. There's no data in this disc at all. So is the trap. We'll have to look elsewhere for a way into the cat system. I programmed the spiders to search all files containing cats and other keywords. This is good. Where's it from? Government listening post. The people who work there call it the hive. What's this? Cat flap. Is that relevant? Oh, yeah. Cat flap is a code name for the decryption algorithm into the cat system. Well, well, so the hive has its own private backdoor to cats. Very sneaky. Hang on, Zephyr. These files are just documentation. The programme itself is on a DVD at the Hive. Oh, I have to get it. Excuse me? How are you going to get a DVD out of this top security place? I've been searching the personnel files. I think we can get someone on the payroll to do it for us. How? Because I discovered a little secret.
Adam Mosby? Yes. Do I know you? Not as well as I know you. What do you mean? We ran a data check on you. Nice little scam, isn't it? Uncle James must be spinning in his grave. Don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about you siphoning off funds from your company's payroll and laundering it through your late uncle's trust fund. They find out. Instant dismissal. Not to mention prison. What do you want? Cat flap. How do you know about that? Secrets are our business, as they are yours, but secrets have a way of coming out. Look, this trust fund thing, it's only a sort of advance. I'm going to pay it all back. Do you think your bosses will believe that? That's a good chance. I'm not doing what you want. Still lose your job. And how we support your new little wife from prison. Leave Alex out of this. Too late. We know where she lives. What car she drives. So many deaths on the roads these days. A moment of carelessness and... Boom! Oh, wipe out. A young life tragically cut short. Now, do we have a deal? Or will you be in church for a funeral rather than a wedding? This is very pleasant. Shame we never did this more often. Yeah, you must come round again soon. Adam and I want to have lots of dinner parties. <laughs> Actually, Ed, there is something I wanted to ask you. Yeah? What? I feel a bit embarrassed now. It's just I didn't know who else to turn to. Well, what is it? Can't Adam help? <sighs> Hardly. Alex, what's up? Nothing's up. Don't look so serious, Ed. The truth is, you're my best friend. Apart from Adam, of course. You know my father's dead. Well, it would mean so much to me if you would give me away at my wedding. Give you away? You mean walk down the aisle and make nice speeches about you and Adam and, and that sort of thing? Well, yes. Well, Alex, if, well, if that's what you want, uh, of course I will. Thank you so much. Oh. You know, <clears throat> some people would say that we're rushing into things. I mean, Adam and I have only known each other a few months. Tell me I'm not making a big mistake, Ed. Alex, I, I've got to be honest. I had my doubts at first, but... But now you're sure we're doing the right thing? Thank you, Ed. Adam? Alex, you all right? Of course I am. I've uh, come to say I'm sorry. There's more to marriage than presents and guest lists. You invite your Canadians, and uh, whichever plates you choose, I promise never to throw them at you. Adam? Hmm? Oh, sorry. That's what I came to say. Sorry I'm having doubts. That's great. It was just nerves, I suppose. You know, like in a theme park. You really want to go on the scariest ride. You queue for ages, and then just as you're being strapped in, you think, oh, do I really want to do this? Yeah. OK, so... Let's sort out this guest list, once and for all. <laughs> What's his guard dog? You must have a virus. Alex, just calm down and we'll go through this. Now, you say the spiders have got into the hive. Adam's copy of your guard dog virus spotter has just reacted. Why mock spiders have left traces all over the system? What have they accessed? They've been looking for files to do with banking. Banking? Yeah, but they've not accessed anything above Code Orange. Well, that's something. He's particularly interested in a file called CatFlap. CatFlap? Are you sure, Alex? Yes. He's been searching through all the databases. 
But Dent assured me that the Hive system is impregnable. Well, with his record of internal security, those assurances are worth virtually nothing. If Weimark ever gets his hands on Catflap, he'll have the entire banking world at his mercy. Roz, are you ready? Ed, if Weimark spiders are raiding the hive, he could have all sorts of secrets stored away. So we wipe out his computer's memory. Yeah, wipe every last bite of information. If knowledge is power, we'll unplug him. I'm sure you only pack all that stuff to worry me. Insurance. The day I forget it, will be the day I need it. Yeah. I guess you never really want something until it's gone. I had my chance with Alex. And yeah, I messed it up. I wasn't thinking of you. Rose, Jan said she wanted to come. Really? Mm. Do you think she's uh, going to be all right? I don't know. She was right, of course. I went there for absolution. I didn't go there for her. I went for me. And I didn't even say I was sorry. I've been DOIC codenamed Jan for so long, there's nothing of the real me left. I'm sure that's not true. Alex is getting married soon, Simon. Suppose I have to tell Adam that she won't ever be coming home again. I don't think I can do this anymore. I could prescribe you something to get you through this. No. No pills. I have to handle this myself. And if you can't? Jan? Ready when you are. Ready. Beckett. Can't keep away from the old place, eh? Well, it's not my fault if the hive keeps getting itself in hot water, sir. Thank you, Mosby. That will be all. I resent that, Beckett. I appreciate your concern, but I'm afraid you've had a wasted journey. These people may have read our files and learnt how cat flap works, but they haven't got the program itself. And that is perfectly secure. Secure? At the hive. Well, now that would be a first. Only one copy of the program exists. We're well aware of the dangers if it should fall into the wrong hands. Yes, it could be used to intercept any bank transfer anywhere. Only in theory. Oh, come on, Dent. You may use it to trace money laundering, but a criminal who got his hands on cat flap could take the banks for all they've got. There is only one copy of the programme on a master DVD in the main security vault. Voice print confirmation required to proceed. Must be, that will be all. Thank you, Mr. Dent. You may enter. If I showed you the disc, would that set your mind at rest? It might. Personalized smart cards linked to a voice print analyzer. Full proof. I'm afraid Miss Jordan will have to wait here. She's with me. As you wish. Is there a problem then? The card, it's gone. This is the director. Cancel card zero one immediately. Chances, we don't 
how many they are. Hang on a minute, there's one of my people in there too, remember? My staff know what they're doing. The Hive's cat flap disk has been stolen. It's the master key to the whole banking system. They're going into Weimark's place now. Don't worry, we'll make sure he can't use any of that data. All set? Yeah. Right, make sure that memory core's completely wiped. Hey, take care. Yeah. What are you doing here? I uh, thought I saw someone down here, so I came to have a look. Then all the alarms went off. Did you see anyone? Uh, no. What have you got there? I, uh, I found this on the floor. It's Dent's card. Someone must have used it to break open the vault. What do you think they are now? Oh, they could be anywhere. This place is huge. We should split up. I don't think that's a good idea. That's no, the best thing. I've got a lot of ground to cover. I'm gonna go this way. I'll see you later. We're in. Not much security. Oh, don't speak too soon. Beckett! We found a fire exit open. I think they must have got away. Did Adam find anything? Adam? He came this way. You must have seen him. No, but I did find this. It's your EMP generator, isn't it? Yes. Where did you find it? By the vault. You must have dropped it. But I didn't have it with me. I see what you mean. This looks more secure. Why Mark's collecting the nation's secrets? He wouldn't want anyone else getting their hands on them. to go. Thank you. Rose on the floor. Mind your head. Everything OK? Yeah. One more to go. We're into the memory core. Administrative password, moron. Charming. I think we can get round that. to our memory core. A lot of cats, all right. And if they got that disc from the hive? They'll have everything they need to crack it. Ross, how are you going to wipe all this? My data buster program will wipe every last bite of memory in about 30 seconds. Step away from the terminal. to our conceit. They've wiped everything.
was just for insurance. Yeah, it's time to cash in the policy. Okay. She's gonna make it. 